Right guys, so in today's video, I'm just gonna run through my exact no BS strategy that I've always used on Etsy to make sales very early on for both my main Etsy shop, Sona Sopa, and also my brand new print on demand shop, which has only been open for a few months now and has already made a decent little bit of revenue. So look, I just wanna put it out there from the start, okay? The world of online business is very hard and it's very challenging. However, there are some key fundamental principles that we can put in place very early doors with our shops to give ourselves the best chance of having a successful business right from the start. So the very first fundamental that you need to get right is that there must be some level of demand for whatever product it is or whatever niche it is you're trying to sell. Because otherwise, if there's no demand, then you're literally just sat there like trying to sell ice to an Eskimo. They just don't want it and you're just not gonna have a very good time. So look, there's a few different ways that we can find our niche, a niche that's actually in demand. The first way, very simple, just head on to Etsy, type in whatever product idea or whatever niche idea it is that you're thinking of selling and look to see if there's any products that show up that have got either the Etsy bestseller tags or you know the Etsy's pick tags, any of these sorts of products. If you see them coming up for the product you're trying to sell, then that's normally a pretty good indication that it's worked before for somebody else. So there's a very good chance it can work again for you. And I also recommend to actually click onto some of these items that you see coming up on Etsy and see how many reviews that they've actually got for the item. So not the shop reviews, but the item specific reviews. So in general, if an item's got more than 10 reviews, then if you take the percentage that roughly only 10% of people who buy products actually leave a review, and the item's got 10 plus reviews, then you can kind of assume that that item's probably made 100 plus sales. And that's a pretty good indication again that that item and that niche, there is a decent level of demand for it. And then of course, another way is to just use any research app you want for Etsy. There's plenty of good ones out there. You literally just go onto it, plug in whatever niche or product it is you're trying to sell, search, and it'll just show you loads of different products in that niche that are currently selling on Etsy. You can just get a real good idea and real good feel for how many sales the products are making, what sort of revenue the products are bringing in monthly. It just really helps to show you the sort of demand and the sort of sales volumes that current products in that niche are actually already making on Etsy. And look guys, I just wanna point out here as well, while we're talking about Etsy niches, that I get a lot of questions of people asking me, is it better to start a store selling one very specific niche focusing on like one very specific product or is it better to sell a multitude of different products targeting lots of different niches and having that kind of more general store and my answer is always the same you can have very good success with both one of my first etsy stores japanese tableware very niche very specific my new print on demand store selling a whole variety of designs focusing on one product type so mugs targeting multiple different niches just based on other best-selling designs and best-selling products which i've done my research on to know that they sell well put my own spin on it and then just market them in my own personal way so the principles i'm talking about in this video pretty much no matter what you're selling as long as there is some level of demand for the products you're putting out on your store you can have success and you can make sales. That's been proven. People have done it before. There's no reason that you can as well. And so with that, I wanna move on to the second fundamental thing which you have to get right, and I cannot stress the importance of this enough. Your shop appearance must be spot on. So we're talking here your logo, your banner, your profile picture, the about a section of your store. This is literally your shop storefront, right? Think of it as you're walking into literally any retail store in your city or in your village that you live in. If the store is like falling down, there's cracks in the building, you know, everything just looks totally rubbish. What's the chance of you going in that store and you trust in that store to sell good products and give you a good service? Probably pretty slim. It is just so, so important, especially early doors, to have a professional looking store. Even if you don't have real great creative or, or real great graphic design skills, nowadays it literally doesn't matter, right? You can just head onto a program called Canva, go on there, type in something as simple as like Etsy shop banner, go into it, they'll give you loads of different templates that you can use, load one up, do a little bit of edit, just make it a bit more appealing to the actual products and actual niche that you're in. Literally just download that and that is a 
perfectly fine shop banner that's gonna look professional and presentable that you can use for your business. So your shop appearance can literally either immediately build trust with shoppers or if it looks terrible, it can completely kill the trust with shoppers. It's the first thing they see and it is so, so important. Don't neglect it. It's a fundamental to business. And then running along the same lines of when we're talking about appearance, I cannot stress this next point enough how important it is. Make sure the images that you're using to market and sell your products are as good and as stand out as they possibly can be. If you're selling digital or print on demand products, make sure that you're investing just a little bit of money up front on getting the highest quality mock-up images that you possibly can. If you're in print on demand, do not use the mock-up images that the print provider gives you. I promise you, the ones that you invest a little bit of money on from say, ones that you can buy on Etsy, they convert so much better. I've tested these myself. Time and time again, you will get more sales if you improve your thumbnail images. And this also applies to physical items as well. Say you're at home and you're taking the product pictures yourself. Perfect, that's absolutely fine. We don't need a professional photography team here. I just recommend to position your physical product somewhere that's either got a real clear background or simply just use the portrait mode setting on your phone when you're taking your imagery. What this is gonna do is it's gonna blur the background and when you've got your main product in focus in the center and you've got a background which is either blurred or a contrasting color to the main product you're trying to sell, this is just gonna make the product really stand out and really pop out against the background. And when a customer sees this on the busy Etsy home and search pages, it's just gonna stand out so much more to them and you're just gonna increase your chances of getting that click so much more. Like people genuinely ask me, if you can just give me one tip to improve my Etsy shop, what would it be? And I'll always say like, without even looking at your shop, I can say, if you're gonna put your time anywhere, focus on your images. And look guys, just quickly, if you wanted some genuine help from somebody who has been there and done it multiple times before, and you know, one thing I love to do is Etsy coaching. So working directly with you guys. And I haven't been doing it for long, but I'm already starting to see some really good success with some of the clients that I have been working with. And I just genuinely think there's so much more value in a capacity where we're literally working together, talking daily on WhatsApp. So, you know, if you've got any questions, uh, anything that you're stuck with, I'm literally there to help you keep moving along every step of the process. I think this approach just gives you so much more value than just throwing out like a generic course or you know anything like that. And it's also something that's very fulfilling for me as well when I'm helping you guys actually start businesses, improve your current businesses and make money online. Like it genuinely does mean a lot to me. So I'm opening up two new spaces now to take on two new clients to work with. So if that's something that you think you're interested in, feel free to just book in a free call with me We'll see if we're a good fit to work together. And yeah, I genuinely love to help you on your online business journey. But moving on to the next fundamental now, and this is to have an ever expanding product catalog. So look, I think it's no secret that to massively increase your chances of being successful on Etsy, you need a lot of listings, right? You gotta think the more listings you have, the more chance you have of finding a bestseller and finding a few of those listings that really take off and drive massive amounts of traffic to your store. I don't care if you're there with even say 100 to 200 listings. If you haven't found that best selling listing yet and you haven't found listings that are getting really popular on Etsy and really taking off, then just keep going. So you could either find those amazing listings after just your first 10 listings or your first 100 or even your first 200. But what I'm saying is if you haven't found them, keep going. You'll see some stores out there that's literally got say 700, 800, 1000 plus, 2000 plus listings on Etsy. And they tend to be the stores that are making a shed load of sales and are very, very successful. And you've also got to think as well, the more listings that you're putting out into the world, the more valuable stats that you're gonna get back to actually look at, analyze, and then scale your store in the directions that you know are working based on actual fundamental statistics. And it's just gonna be such a better use of your time going forward, rather than just continuously using your time based on guesswork. I'm a big advocate of having stats and then putting our time in to what we know is actually working. And moving on to the next fundamental now, this is neglected by so many Etsy sellers, like it's absolutely crazy. 
and this is the importance of customer service and your reviews. Your first few sales and your first few reviews are probably always gonna come from friends and family. And this is something that I'm a big advocate of. I highly recommend to just get some of your close friends and family to go onto your Etsy store, especially in the early days, purchase a few items from you. And you know, you don't even need to send them the products. It's basically just so that they can get items from you on Etsy. This then allows them to leave a legitimate review, which is just gonna help your store massively in the early days. It's gonna increase your sales volume as well that customers see when they go on your store. You know yourself, if you go on a shop, the difference between a new store that's got even say just five to 10 sales with a few reviews versus another store that's got no sales and no reviews, just that small difference can be the difference in a sale. You know, it really comes down to these fine margins but they actually make a massive difference. And then for every single customer message that you get, reply to them as soon as you can, put your customer care and hat on, okay? Be very, very polite throughout the whole sales process, nurture your customers, every sale you make, make sure that you're sending a bespoke message to the customer, asking them if they feel comfortable and you're happy with the product, would you mind leaving us a review? I'll flash up an example of the exact message which I send to all of my customers for every sale I make. And you know, I just, again, I can't stress how fundamental this step is to having a successful business. Like your shop can quite literally live or die by its reviews. And then of course, the next fundamental is basically to just not do anything that is just gonna massively put customers away from your shop or put customers off your shop. And I'm talking about things like giving delivery timescales that are over 10 days. This is gonna turn so many customers away, it's unbelievable. Putting your product prices, say like 20% over all of the competition. Why would somebody then purchase your product? You're gonna be turning loads of customers away. If your shop's got a review score of under four stars, for example, this is gonna massively turn loads of customers away. Selling a rubbish quality item, which people are getting, they're not happy with, and they're just never returning to your store. They're leaving bad reviews, you know? These fundamental things that just should be common sense, I see loads of stores doing sadly, and sometimes they could be doing everything else perfect, so everything else could be absolutely spot on, but if you're making some of these key mistakes, you just, are really gonna struggle. And you might think in your head that your store is spot on and it's perfect and Etsy's rubbish and that's the reason you're not making sales. It's always gonna come down to you. And I'm sure that because you're watching videos like this and probably other creators on YouTube as well, you're already so much above and so much further along than the competition because you're actually taking an active interest in improving your shop and in improving your business. Like, I just wanna say, like, hats off to you, honestly. I'm always watching YouTube videos, like trying to improve, learning from other creators and stuff like that, other business owners, so yeah. I just wanted to say, like, I'm in the exact same boat as you guys as well. I'm always looking to improve. I just wanted to get that out there. But anyway, next fundamental, you may have noticed I haven't mentioned anything about SEO yet in this video, and that is because Etsy SEO is an absolute minefield there's so much to learn about it. It's very, very important. And I think it genuinely doesn't deserve just a quick one, two minute clip in this video. It deserves this whole separate video. So I recommend to check out this video and this playlist. I think it can really help you. But otherwise, that's all from me. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.